Hey everybody, welcome to class today. Today is going to be a level three neutral hip balancing class. So we do a lot of single leg flow, including Shiva squats, pistol squats, warrior threes. There's lots of opportunities for handstands or arm balances if you want to take them. Um, and yeah, if you've been practicing me, with me for a while, you know that it's going to be strong and there's going to be lots of strength building. So prepare yourself for that. If you enjoy these classes, please remember to like and subscribe and tell a friend. I'm terrible at marketing. I have no idea what I'm doing. So please just share and tell people. Um, it really means a lot to me. Um, and on that note, I super appreciate everybody's support. I expected nothing of this channel when I started it. I just kind of started it when I left Australia and the people that I used to um, teach back in Australia were like, oh, we miss you. So I was like, oh, well, here's a YouTube channel. And now I have like, I know it's still little, but I have like over 500 subscribers, which is just amazing. So thank you. Um, there's something else I was meant to say, but I've forgotten, but that's okay. We are going to get started today in a bear pose. So as always, if there's anything that you need to do to prepare your body to jump right in, then please go and do that, and then I will meet you in a bear pose. Starting in your hovering tabletop, just like a regular tabletop, except 10 times harder. Your shins are floating away from the floor. Your hands are underneath your shoulders. Your knees are underneath your hips. Your spine is in neutral and your neck is relaxed, but you're not letting your head drop towards the floor. We're going to take five more breaths here. Think of drawing your toes towards your hands, your hands towards your toes. Deep inhales and exhales. From here on your inhale, you're going to step your left leg back to plank and then exhale your right leg back to plank. As you inhale, your left leg steps forward, exhale, right leg steps forward. Reverse it, inhale, right leg back. Exhale, left leg back. Inhale, right leg forward. Exhale, left leg forward. Keep alternating like this. We're going to do three more with each leg leading. Nothing else changes in your body, so you're trying not to wag your pelvis all over the place. You're trying not to move your shoulders, and you're trying to keep pretty neutral into your spine. One more with each leg leading. We're back in our bear pose. Take an inhale. As you exhale, come up into a downward dog. It's going to be a little bit shorter than your regular dog. And then as you inhale, you're going to come back into your bear pose. As you exhale, come back into your downward dog. And then as you inhale, come into your bear pose. Three more here. We're going to add a dolphin here. So you're going to inhale, come into your bear pose. And then as you exhale, you're going to send the hips up, start to bend the elbows, tap them to the floor. As you inhale, peel the elbows off, come back into your bear. Exhale, send the hips up and back, drop the elbows, uh, dolphin. And then as you inhale, lift, come back into your bear. Three more here. time we're going to stay in our dolphin, bringing our dolphin push-ups out of the way right at the start of class. You can interlace your fingers if you want to, walk your dolphin a little bit longer if you need to. As you inhale, you're going to shift forward, see if you can tap your nose beyond your thumbs, and then exhale, bring it back to dolphin. We're going to do 10, so you've got nine more. You might have to keep readjusting your elbows underneath your shoulders.
from your dolphin pose, walk yourself back into your forearm plank. Keep your arms parallel, don't interlace your fingers here. Your palms can face each other or they can face down, or you can open up your shoulders a little bit and turn your palms up towards the sky. You're drawing the elbows towards each other, the toe, uh, sorry, the elbows towards the toes, the toes towards the elbows. Three more breaths. From here, you're gonna plant the right palm, left palm, we're coming up into plank pose, and then send those hips all the way back, downward facing dog. As you inhale, ripple forward to your plank pose. As you exhale, shift forward, chaturanga. You can lower the knees if you need. Inhale, back to plank, and then exhale, downward dog. We're gonna do four more like that. Inhale, shift forward, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale into your plank. Exhale into your dog. Three more. Last one. From your downward facing dog, shift back into your high plank pose. Keep a neutral spine, take an inhale. As you exhale, you're just gonna lift the right leg to float. Inhale, slow, set it down with control. Exhale, left leg comes to float, drop that side of the pelvis. Inhale, slow, control lower. Got four more on each side, keeping the rest of the body as still as you can. Slow, controlled movements. One more of each. Inhale here as you exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward dog. Let's get off those hands. Look towards the top of the mat. Step, walk, or float your feet to the back of your wrists. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands come halfway up the shins, lengthen the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees as much as you need. Two more like that. Inhale, halfway lift. Maybe you bring the arms out to the side, capital T. Exhale, forward fold. One more here, inhale, lift. Exhale, forward fold. Generous bend in the knees as you ragdoll yourself all the way to standing. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa, chaturanga. Plank, option second, chaturanga, plank, downward dog. Of course, add a back bend if you feel you need it. Step, walk or float to the top. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms to the top. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa. Step, walk or float to the top. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa. Step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise. We do three more rounds. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa. Step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa. Step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise. Last round. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa. 
step walk or flip. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees. Inhale, chair pose. If your feet are together, your knees can be together. Your heels are slightly apart. If your feet are apart, your knees are apart, and your knees face whatever direction your second and third toes are going. Neutral spine, hinge back of the hips. Lengthen from the rib cage out through the fingertips. Take one more breath. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa. Step the right leg forward for crescent lunge. Inhale, come all the way up. Gentle bend in the back knee if you need to, to neutralize through the spine. And once again, think of the arms reaching out of the rib cage without bunching the shoulders by the ears. Make sure you can see your right big toe and take three more deep breaths. You can keep your arms overhead or you can sweep them back behind you as you tilt forward at the pelvis coming into your power lunge. Inhale, come back up to crescent. As you exhale, we're coming all the way to stand on the right leg, bring the left knee in towards the chest. Hands can come down or they can stay up. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, you're gonna extend that left leg out in front of you. Don't tuck the pelvis under and don't send the shoulders back. So if that left leg can't come very high or you have to bend the knee, then that's fine, it doesn't matter. I'm watching Game of Thrones at the moment and now all I can think about when I said bend the knee is how much they reference bending the knee in that show. Take one more breath. As you exhale, we're gonna hinge forward, warrior three. Take your hands to your hips, even off through your pelvis, both hip points face down towards the floor, left toes face down towards the floor. Draw the right hip back slightly and then lengthen out through the arms. Come into your standing splint. You've got the option to stay here. We're going to revisit this a few times. Or if you're feeling ready for it, you can take a couple of hops towards your handstand. If you're in standing splits, you're going to take a spirit hop. If you're in handstand, you're just going to hop to, or you're going to land at the back of your mat. Either way, we've all landed in downward dog with the left leg high and then shift forward through your vinyasa with or without that left leg floating. Come back to downward facing dog. Step the left leg forward, inhale. Set yourself up for crescent lunge. Five breaths. Shift forward into your power lunge. Inhale into your crescent. And then as you exhale, come forward all the way up to standing. Oh, I almost forgot where we were going. Right knee into the chest and then extend that right leg without tucking under the pelvis. Five breaths here. Mm -hmm. 
right, start to tilt yourself forward. Bring your hands to your pelvis for this first one. Figure out where you need to be for your warrior three and then extend your arms nice and long. Five breaths. From here, hands will find the mat or your blocks. Once again, you could stay in standing splits or you could take a couple of hops towards handstand. I never seem to be able to find a single spot in my house where the floor is like not on a slight tilt. <laughs> Rain so much here in the winter. <laughs> if you came into standing split, you're going to hop that left leg all the way to the back of the mat. If you're in handstand, just land that left leg to the back of the mat. Everybody shift forward and take your vinyasa. Look how the floors are tilted so that when it rains really heavy, it all just runs off and it makes handstands hard. Look to the top of your mat. Step, walk, or flight. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. We're going to flow. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa. Step your right leg forward for crescent. Inhale, come up. As you exhale, power lunge. Inhale, come into your crescent. Exhale, come to stand. Extend the left leg. As you inhale, warrior three. As you exhale, plant the hands. We give you the option to play with the handstand hop, or you can just take a big spirit hop to the back of the mat. We're going to make our way through a vinyasa. I'll give you a few breaths to play here. Maybe from your handstand, you can lower all the way down into chaturanga just an option step that left leg forward inhale crescent lunge exhale power lunge inhale crescent exhale come to stand on the left leg extend the right inhale into your warrior three exhale plant those hands have a play you could take an arm balance here as well or you could just take it straight through vinyasa and hang out in down dog Lizard. Look to the top, step, walk or flank. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. We're going to go through twice more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa. Right leg steps. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, power lunge. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, come to stand on the right leg. Extend the left. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, take your time. Come through your vinyasa. When you're ready, left leg steps. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, power lunge. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, stand on the left, extend the right. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, plant the hands, take your vinyasa. Look to the top, step, walk or flip. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa. Right leg steps. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, power lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, come to stand on the right. Extend the left. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, your vinyasa. I 
when you're ready, left leg steps. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, power lunge. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, come to stand. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, your vinyasa. Don't worry if you're not with me, you can always pause the video. Step, walk or float to the top. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, Ardha Utkatasana, half chair. So bend really deeply in through the knees as if you could get the thighs parallel to the floor. Maybe you can, depending on your ankle mobility. Reach the arms forward if you can. If you can't, reach them backwards like you're skiing. And you're thinking of trying to get your torso parallel with the floor. That may or may not happen. Sink really deep in the legs. Take two more breaths here. Take an inhale, sweep the arms forward if they're not already. As you exhale, stay low, just sweep the arms back and raise onto the toes. Even weight through all 10 toes. Inhale, come back into this half chair. Exhale, come up into your skiers pose. Quads on fire, take three more. Inhale, ouch. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, take it through your vinyasa. Shift forward into your plank pose. And then you're going to ground down through the right hand. Shift to the outside edge of the right foot. Vashistasana, side plank. You can stagger the feet if you need to, or you can drop the bottom knee if you need to. From here, you're going to bring your left knee in towards your chest. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, you're going to extend it out. So like we were doing when we were standing on one leg, except now we're in a side plank. As you inhale, tap the inner left foot to the floor and then exhale, pick it back up. Inhale, tap it down. Exhale, pick it up. Three more. Bring it back to side plank. Inhale. As you exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, back to plank. Exhale, shift to the left. Inhale, sweep the right arm up. Vashistasana, side two. Draw your right knee in towards the chest as you inhale. As you exhale, extend it out in front of you. Inhale, tap the inside edge of the foot to the floor. Exhale, pick it up. Four more. Bring it back, side plank. Take it through a vinyasa. Option for a double chaturanga here. Because why not? Step the right foot forward. We're coming back into crescent lunge. Inhale. As you exhale, come into your power lunge. Keep your power lunge. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to sweep the hands back behind you as you draw your left knee in towards the chest. Try not to tap the toes down. A single leg chair. Inhale, power lunge. Exhale, little crouch, single leg chair. Just three more. Make sure that you're not dropping that right hip out to the side and make sure you're not dropping to the inside or the outside of that right foot. This time you're going to hug the left knee all the way into the chest. Come all the way up to standing. Left leg goes over the right, bend in through the knees. Left arm comes underneath the right and we complete our eagle. Keep the arms, you're just going to straighten out through the right leg. Your left leg is going to come behind you in a warrior three. 
We're going to take everybody's favorite Shiva squats. Take an inhale here. Hands can come to blocks if you need to for balance. Otherwise, as you exhale, bend both knees. The left knee tucks behind the right. Inhale. Come back up into your Eagle Warrior Three. Exhale. Shiva squat. Inhale. Warrior Three. Three more. Good news. After this, we're going to come into a pistol squat. You're welcome. So come into your warrior three. Unwind your arms. Your left knee is going to come back in towards the chest. Start to bend the right knee. You can grab the left big toe if you need to. Send the hips back, chest forward, hips back, chest forward. Maybe the right toes have to lift. Maybe your hand has to find the floor. Maybe you can balance. From here, slow as you can with control, you're gonna sit back down onto your butt. Your right leg is gonna come low towards the floor. Your left leg is gonna come high. So we're kind of in this scissor boat situation. Both of your legs could be bent if you needed to. You're gonna take an inhale here, exhale, switch. Inhale, switch, exhale, switch. So this is like a high scissor. If this doesn't feel good, lie, excuse me, lie all the way down onto your back. Nice and tall through the spine. We're gonna go for four, three, two, one. I got that wrong. Do one more so that left leg is back up. You're gonna bring that right knee back in. Grab those left toes again if you need to. With or without the use of your hands, you're gonna come back into your pistol squat. We're gonna come all the way into Utita Padangustasana. So all the way to standing, holding the left big toe. If you need to use your hands, please do so. And then when you get to standing, bend that left knee as much as you need to to keep a nice tall spine and drop the left hip down in line with the right. Take five breaths. Slow with control. You're going to release that left leg back behind you. We're going to find warrior three again. Take an inhale, lengthen. And then as we exhale, hands fly on the floor, standing splits. Once again, you can stay. Or I'm going to give you a few breaths to play with an arm balance of your choice. A handstand, a headstand. And when you're ready, you're going to take it through your vinyasa and we will meet back in downward facing dog. Look towards the top of the mat, you're going to step your left leg up. Inhale, come into your crescent lunge. Exhale, come into your power lunge. Take an inhale, stay here. As you exhale, the right knee comes to the chest. Keep a bend in both knees. Let the foot hover. Inhale, power lunge. Exhale, little ball. Inhale, power lunge. Sorry, I forgot the arms were sweeping back behind us when we did this. You've got two more. Step it back into your power lunge. Inhale. Exhale, that right knee is going to come all the way to the chest, come all the way to standing. Right leg goes over the left. Right arm goes under the left. Eagle pose. Take one more breath. Come all the way to standing. Keep the arms. You're just going to pivot forward or tilt forward into a warrior three. Shiva squats. As you inhale, bend both knees. The right knee tucks behind the left. Come as low as you can. Exhale. Come all the way to standing. You're not here for very long, so make the most of it. You've got four more. This is our last one. Unwind your arms into warrior three. As you exhale, you're going to bend through the left knee. The right knee comes towards the chest. Maybe grab a hold of the toes. Hips back, chest forward, hips back, chest forward. 
come into your pistol squat. And one side might be different to the other. This side is a lot more accessible to me than the other, mostly because I haven't broken this limb like five times. <laughs> There's less injuries. Oh, one more breath. And then slow with control, you're gonna lower yourself all the way down. The right leg comes high, the left leg comes low. This time take your hands off to capital T or up above you to make it harder. We're gonna inhale, switch, exhale, switch. Inhale, switch, exhale, switch. Keep going. We've got five, four, three, two. I still got it wrong. Let me do one more. That right leg is forward. Grab the toes if you need to, with or without the use of your hands. You're going to come back into that pistol squat. And then again, with or without the use of your hands, try and make your way all the way up into standing Utita Palangustasana. From here, bend that right knee, slowly hinge yourself forward into warrior three. Take an inhale, lengthen, and then as you exhale, plant the hands. Once again, handstand, arm balance, whatever you want to play with here. Whenever you're ready, you're going to take it to a vinyasa. Look towards the top of your mat. You're going to step, walk, or float. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come into chair pose. Exhale, come into your half chair. Inhale, sweep the arms forward. Exhale, sweep the arms back, raise onto the toes. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa. We're going to try and flow through that sequence again, if I can remember it. <laughs> Step the right leg forward. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, power lunge. Take an extra inhale here. As you exhale, sweep the arms back, left knee to the chest, little ball. Inhale, power lunge. As you exhale, come all the way up to standing knee to chest. Left leg over, left arm under. Inhale into your eagle pose. Exhale, unravel into your warrior three with eagle arms. Inhale, Shiva squat. Exhale, come to stand. Release the arms, take an inhale. As you exhale, start to bend the right knee. That left leg comes through and down into your pistol squat. Take an inhale. Exhale, release to the floor. Inhale, send that left, the right leg long. Inhale, scissor switch. Exhale, scissor switch. Bend the right knee, grab the toes if you need to. Take an inhale, come to your pistol squat. And then as you exhale, however you get there, come all the way to stand. Take an inhale, Utita Padangustasana. As you exhale, warrior three. Take an extra inhale. And then as you exhale, a couple of breaths here. Take it through your vinyasa, find your inversion. Take a break, whatever you need to do. Second side, left leg steps. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, power lunge, extra breath, inhale. As you exhale, sweep the arms back, right knee to the chest. Inhale, power lunge. Exhale, all the way to standing, right knee bends. Slide it over, right arm under. Inhale in your eagle. Exhale, unwind, eagle arm, warrior three. Inhale, Shiva squat. Exhale, warrior three. Unwind the arms. Inhale here. As you exhale, start to bring that right knee in towards the chest. Maybe grab the toes. Come all the way down into your pistol squat. Take an inhale. Exhale, release to the floor. Left leg long. Inhale, switch. Exhale, switch. Grab the right toes if you're doing that. Come forward into your pistol. Take an inhale. As you exhale, 
gracefully or not, come all the way to standing. Inhale here. Exhale, release into your warrior three. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, plant the hands. Take your time. When you're ready, we're going to flow through that one more time. Look to the top of the mat. Step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, half chair. Inhale, sweep the arms forward. Exhale, sweep them back. Raise the toes. Uh, raise the heels, sorry. Inhale, half chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, your vinyasa. Right leg steps, inhale, crescent lunge, exhale, power lunge, inhale here, exhale, sweep the arms back, curl into your ball, inhale, power lunge, exhale, come all the way to standing, left leg over, left arm under, take another inhale in your eagle, exhale, eagle arm, warrior three, inhale, shiva squat, exhale, release the bind of the arms, warrior three. Inhale, start to bend that left knee in. As you exhale, come all the way through into your pistol squat. Take an inhale. As you exhale, release to the floor, send the right leg long. Inhale, switch. Exhale, switch. Bend the right knee back in. Come back into your pistol squat. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, come all the way to standing. Inhale here. Exhale, warrior three. Take an inhale. As you exhale, plant the hands. Option for handstand. This is going to be our second last one. We're going to bring it down after our last side. Left leg steps. Inhale. Press the lunge. Exhale, power lunge. Inhale here. Exhale, little ball. Inhale, power lunge. Exhale all the way to standing, right leg over, right arm under. Inhale, eagle pose. Exhale, eagle arm warrior three. Inhale, Shiva squat. Release the arms as you exhale, warrior three. As you inhale, start to bend both knees, that right leg comes through, grab the toes. Take an extra inhale at the bottom. Exhale, release. Left leg long. Inhale, switch. Exhale, switch. Right toes, if you're taking them, bend the left knee in. Pistol squat. This is so ungraceful. And then you're going to come all the way back up. It's okay because it builds strength. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, warrior three. Extra inhale. Plant the hands. Last time, your vinyasa, your inversion, arm balance. Make something up. Oops. Go for a walk. <laughs> Don't do that. That was a terrible handstand example. I hope no one watched that. From your downward dog, you're going to step, walk, or float through Navasana boat pose. Take an inhale here. Exhale. I can't do it at the moment, but if you can, on your inhale, your lower back is going to meet the floor, low boat, and then exhale, pick yourself up, boat. Inhale, low boat. Exhale, boat. You can also take this half version that I'm doing here. We're going to do six more. Draw the knees in towards the chest. Before we make our way onto the back, we're going to take a quick hamstring stretch. Sit up nice and tall first, though, Dandasana. You're going to bring the hands behind the head. Elbows nice and wide. So try not to be all the way back here and try not to be in a banana. If you have a wall nearby, it's really nice to sit up against the wall. It gives you a really good idea of where you are. You're going to try to aim for neutral curves in through your spine. Don't jut your chin forward. 
use the back of your hands or use your hands rather to pull the back of your head gently up, lengthen the back of your neck. Your legs are really, really strong here, elbows are wide. You should start to feel this working. It looks like nothing unless you have like amazing posture. This is pretty hard. We're gonna take three more breaths here. We're opening up the lungs, the rib cage, strengthening the hip flexors, strengthening the postural muscles. Keep the posture, inhale, just extend the arms overhead. And then as you exhale, fold forward, reach for the toes, the shins, the knees, wherever you grab. And slow roll yourself up, scoot yourself to the top of your mat. Slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, you're going to roll yourself down onto your back. Do not look at what I just did. We're going to finish with a little bit of bridging and a little bit of core work. So you're going to float. This is uncomfortable. You're going to float your legs up to tabletop. Knees above the hips. Whew. Shins parallel with the floor. I have this horrible heat rash all over my body and it's just like it burns when it makes contact with anything. Oh, it's okay. TMI, I'm sorry. Shins are parallel with the floor. Arms are up to the sky. Lower back and lower ribs are in contact with the floor. Don't lose that. As you inhale, you're going to extend the right leg and left arm away from each other. Exhale, bring them back to center. Inhale, change. Right arm, left leg. Exhale them back together. So keep going nice and slow. There's a couple of things here. This exercise should feel quite hard. If you do this right, this is actually really, really effective. So I don't want your lower ribs, so the back of your rib cage just above your waistline, I don't want that to leave the floor. I don't want the front of your rib cage arching open. You're thinking like almost like you're wearing a corset, but don't stop breathing. And then the other thing that I want you to think of is that you're not rocking side to side. So your pelvis should feel even on the floor as you move. You shouldn't feel like you're wobbling all over the place. You need to make this easier. You don't move as far away from your body. So you can keep your legs bent or you can just like make the range of movement a lot, lot smaller. I do one more on each side. and hug the knees in towards the chest, plant the feet down, take an inhale, hands can be beside the body or up overhead, take an inhale, as you exhale, think of pulling the heels towards your glutes as you peel your spine off the mat, coming into bridge, so I don't want you to be up on the back of your neck, your shoulders should still be down on the floor here. If you wanted to take a restorative bridge here, you could certainly put a block underneath your lower back. If you want one final burst of heat, take the thumbs to the lower ribs, the index fingers to the pelvis. Don't let those two points shorten or lengthen or drop from side to side. Walk the feet a little closer. We're going to take our march. You've definitely done this with me before if you've been practicing for a while. Left leg floats to table, set it down. Right leg floats to table, set it down. We're going to do nine more on each side. So we're trying to keep the pelvis really even. So if it helps just to take your whole hand to that area to give yourself feedback, then do that. There's going to be a little bit of shift, but you're trying not to drop one side of your pelvis down to the floor or shorten one side of your rib cage towards the pelvis. You're also, to the best of your ability, trying to keep your shoulders pretty even on the floor. So if when you lift one leg, either the same shoulder or the opposite shoulder comes off the floor or you feel like you're really shifting weight from one side to the other. It's just things to be aware of. We're trying to even that out as much as we can. We do three more on each side.
and then slow roll it all the way down. Draw those knees in towards the chest. And then you're going to take your favorite spinal twist. So whatever that looks like for you. Try and keep the opposite shoulder down towards the floor. And then you're going to bring it over to the other side. Bring it back through center, knees in towards the chest, happy baby pose or any other final poses that work best for you in your practice. And when you're ready, coming to your favorite final resting position, that could be legs up the wall, you could come to a seat, you could come to Supta Baddha Konasana. As always, take any other poses, stretches, movements you feel like you need. And when you're ready, let the palms turn up towards the sky. Take a really big inhale through the nose. And a really big exhale through the mouth. As always, thank you so much for practicing with me today. Today, as you go forward, may you be balanced in your thoughts, kind in your words, and peaceful in your heart. Namaste.